G'day beer lovers. This video is a rant. It's about hate. The subject is hate. Okay, now everything I see and hear these days contains fucking hate. The world is being consumed by it. It's everywhere in my life. I turn on Facebook in the morning. The news feed is just full of fucking hate shit. I turn on YouTube. I catch up on international news. And I get fed more stories about fucking hate. And all this fucking violence. Lately I've noticed that it's starting to fucking depress me. Big time. What really pisses me off is that hate videos and hate postings are banned on YouTube and Facebook. And yet news outlets and news groups continually pump out news stories all the time that make us hate. Whether it be news stories about the latest ISIS beheading or ISIS throwing off some gay off the top of a tall building somewhere or news stories about murderers, rapists, pedophiles. When we swallow what the news outlets are projecting, we become like an army united in a common hatred. Now, people generally love to have something to hate in their life, don't we? It becomes part of our belief systems. It's like a form of fucking religion. Some people get totally obsessed with hating something. Some people are simply born to fucking hate. Now, in this video, I'm not picking on anyone specifically. Okay? There's no one I'm targeting in this video. Now, if my rant is touching a raw nerve within you, well, that's your fucking problem, okay? Now, I'm no angel myself, I admit that. Now, if you go through my channel, you'll find the odd hate video here and there. You know, what really gets me worked up with hatred is seeing bastards being cruel to animals and seeing people being cruel to other people who don't deserve it. I also hate fucking corrupt people. Yeah. Like I said, we're all born to hate. Now I've started to realise that you cannot defeat hate with hate. If you look at ISIS, okay, they broadcast these atrocities onto the web so that us in the West end up hating them because we're repulsed by it. But what does it also do? It forces a lot of people in the West to hate all Muslims. You know, and what happens then? It forces the, peace, the peaceful Muslims living within the West to rise up and rebel and become jihadists themselves. And that's what fucking ISIS wants. They want us to hate Muslims. Now, our own Western media reports their atrocities. And what happens? We all become conscripted into the army of anti-Islamic haters. You know, we, we all become these Islamophobes. We're all being controlled by fucking hate. The thing that tortures my mind is the thought that the only way to control hatred is via fucking censorship. And I'm totally fucking against censorship. Now, if I was king of the earth, you know, and I had the power to change things, what would I fucking do? Would I choose censorship? Or do I choose the freedom to hate? And I don't fucking know. We hate people because we don't like their fucking religious beliefs. We, d we hate them because we don't like their political beliefs. We don't like the colour of their skin. We don't like the look of their clothes. The actions of their ethnic group going back years into the past. That's another reason why we hate people. And we stereotype people and judge them on the actions by others in their stereotype category. We hate people because of their sexuality and their lifestyle. Something that they've said that gives us another reason to hate someone. Blah, 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 blah. It goes on and on and on. So as you can see, hate is just sheer stupidity. It's lunacy. Now, I have a simple request to all of you guys, and it is this. Don't judge me harshly because I don't share the same hatred as you, okay? 
I respect your right to hate whatever you fucking want, but please do not try and recruit me into your army of fucking hate.